What's up everybody, my name is Tim Russwick, and today we're going to talk about what kind of computer you need to build games. What are the minimum specs that you need to actually get started making games? So, I make games a lot, I make games in live streams, and one of the biggest questions that I get all the time is, what kind of computer should I buy to start making games? And if you're a beginner and you don't know what kind of computer you need, this is going to be the perfect video for you because we're going to go through the individual specs of each and every uh, game engine, and uh, I'm going to give you kind of my summary at the end. So. Real quick, I want to show you the first engine. Uh, this is the system requirements for Unity 2018. And all it basically says is you need Windows and or, and or Mac. You need uh, a CPU that can run whatever this is. And you need a graphics card with DX10, which is pretty much every graphics card on the planet. So for Unity, you pretty much any any computer off the shelf is going to run it anything that you buy um from walmart or target or anything any computer you pick up anywhere is going to be able to run unity now for bigger more complex projects you are going to need a bigger more complex computer but what this is telling me is basically like straight up it's not that complicated to run it's not super heavy there's not even a ram requirement on this page uh, i don't believe so if you want to run unity all you got to do is make sure you got an OS and uh, you got a halfway modern computer. I would say, uh, I would say, if you're running Windows 10, I would say you need at least uh, four to six gigs of RAM. But pretty much every computer comes with that these days if you're buying it uh, from a place. So that's it for Unity. If you're running Unreal, uh, what you're going to need is Windows 7 or higher, Mac OS X 10.9 or later. You're going to need a quad core Intel or AMD processor. Uh, and a GTX 470 or a Radeon 6870 or higher and 8 gigs of RAM. I think this is probably uh, standard for um, Unreal Engine. Uh, Unreal tends to be a little more processor heavy than uh, Unity is, so uh, 8 gigs is will run you you fine. Like I just said it before, the complexity of your projects, if you're going to build huge, massive worlds, uh, the more RAM, the better. But you can get it running on a basic machine. Uh, let's look at some of the 2D engines. Construct 2. <laughs> these these specs are ridiculous. Windows XP and 512 megabytes of RAM and 1 gigahertz processor. Okay, you know how hard it would be to find a computer that's worse than this these days in 2018? It's very hard to buy a computer that's worse than this. Uh, let's look at Game Maker. I see basic requirements for Game Maker is just Windows uh, or Mac OS X or one of the... the uh, the in the um, operating systems that it runs i don't see any uh 32 megabytes of memory that's what you need and a 1024 by 768 which again it'd be hard to find a resolution lower than this these days DirectX compatible sound card everybody pretty much has that every computer so basically what i want to say is just to summarize this entire video you don't need an epic computer you you don't you don't need some crazy machine if we can go to google right now and type cheap computer i guarantee you let's look at not not a chromebook you want to make sure you don't get a chromebook um because those are not operating system compatible but pretty much every computer that you can buy um that runs windows is going to be is going to run this stuff so th this one right here how much is this one 360 dollars okay 360 dollars and you got eight gig you got your intel core this will run it fine any anything at all that's my point so if you're wondering what specs you need like do you need this do you need a graphics card do you need my recommendation is that you just start whatever computer you have if you have a machine if you have a laptop just download an engine try it out get started you don't need the top of the line specs do the specs come in handy when you're working with bigger projects or you're working on multiple things at a time? Sure, right? Like if you're gonna run Photoshop and you're gonna run um, your engine alongside it, alongside Illustrator, alongside all these other programs and you're gonna video edit while you do all that. Sure, having extra specs can help you, but don't let it stop you from making games. Pretty much any computer these days can make games and I just showed you that, I proved you that with all the different system requirements for all the different engines out there and like literally the cheapest computer you can buy can handle most of this stuff these days so 
This isn't like a technical video. I'm not saying that like <laughs> that you should buy this computer, you should do this, but like seriously, no matter what, you should start making games. Whatever hardware you have, whatever computer you have, if you're limited on funds and you don't have a computer at all, you should look at one of the cheaper models, three, 400 bucks in the US, uh, will get you a decent computer these days. And if you want the most bang for the buck, you should go for a desktop instead of a laptop, but they are less portable, but you can definitely get better specs uh, for the same price. So that's all I got for you today. If you're wondering what kind of computer you should buy, hopefully I answered that. If I did not answer that, please let me know down in the comments below. This will be a video I pass around to people that ask this question in my stream and various places all over the internet. But I appreciate you watching. Hit me a thumbs up if you liked it. Hit subscribe if you're not subscribed already. But once again, my name is Tim Oswick, and I will see you again tomorrow.